We got really interested in cat fostering because we adopted Freya from the Humane Society when she was four months old and we always knew we wanted to eventually foster cats. So once Freya had become an adult, we um, put our names forward to the Humane Society to be considered as foster parents. And they try to fit you up with cats that fit your description. So we didn't do any adult cats because Freya doesn't do well with adults. We just wanted to sign up for kittens. And we were lucky enough last year to get our first 11 kittens. And then this month get our 12th through 15th kittens. So we've done 15 kittens in about 15 months and it's just been a big joy for us. Margaret Cloud through Ketchikan Community Cats program asked if we would be willing to foster. And fostering is taking kit usually kittens into your home um, with the hope that you'll socialize them and maybe improve their nutrition if they were found feral. And then just socializing them, we like to invite our friends with kids over to get the kittens used to a lot of activity and being held and played. And it's really good to have Freya around because kittens need to learn they shouldn't do behaviors like biting and scratching and they learn that best from another cat. When another cat does that to them, they realize, oh, that's not comfortable, I shouldn't do that to my humans. They learn boundaries pretty quick when Freya is there to keep them in line. Smack down. Freya is Instagram famous and it started kind of funny. My best friend got me this book called How to Make Your Cat Instagram Famous and I thought it'd be so funny if I could tell my best friend I got a thousand followers for Freya or whatever. So I followed the instructions in the book. You're supposed to focus on something special about your cat and I thought Freya's eyes were very beautiful so we focused on her eyes and um, shockingly her Instagram kind of boomed. Now she's at 11.4 thousand followers and she gets more every day. And it's been really a good platform for us to advertise the kittens that we're fostering and to raise awareness about this low-cost spay and neuter program um, through the Humane Society. To foster, you can also work with Ketchikan Community Cats and um, learn, kind of lean into fostering, maybe with older kittens, um, before you get to the ones who are sick or neonates that need fed with a bottle. There's all sorts of ways you can foster. Um, there's also ways to just be involved with pets if you don't want to commit to having one in your home. There's a really great reading program at the shelter where you can go and read to cats or dogs by sitting in their enclosure. I like to bring a little blankie with me in a book and read out loud to the cats. I think it's just a wonderful experience to have little young bundles of joy just almost completely new in the world and to be able to play with them, see them grow, and we get to see them develop all sorts of skills and figure things out. I think my favorite part about fostering is seeing the kittens come in kind of broken and sad and hungry and they've had a really bad start to their life. And then you see them creating confidence and they have food preferences, they have cuddling preferences, they'll let you know, they start you know, being a little sassy and letting you know they don't like that flavor of cat food, they like this flavor of cat food and they want this type of bed and they want you to snuggle them now and I love when they gain that confidence and they realize they deserve everything in the world and we get to give them that start. It is really important to spay and neuter or alter your cat. Um, we don't want uncontrolled kitten or cat or dog populations. Um, and even if it's just one cat, cats can start having kittens uh, as soon as they are uh, mature, which is very young, only a couple months old, they can already start having kittens themselves. And that's really dangerous for the kittens when, you know, barely adult cats are having kittens. They're malnourished, they're small, they're making more feral cats and more community cats, and they're not getting the attention and love that they need. So the, um, the community has the low-cost spay and neuter program, both through Stone Tree and Island to Island. And especially if you qualify for Medicaid or assistance with housing, they're really helpful with that. But also if you just have any financial hardship, they're really willing to chip in and help pay for that, um, that altering surgery for your pet. So don't let cost be a barrier to getting your pet fixed. Some people can be very surprised how quickly their cat might get pregnant or contribute to a pregnancy. They just go outside for a little bit, a couple days, something could happen. So getting your cat altered will absolutely help make sure that there are fewer unwanted cats who might get abandoned or might be living under Creek Street or in other really unfortunate situations that we don't want to see in the community.